10 cancer-causing foods. As we navigate our way towards a healthier lifestyle, the role of food becomes increasingly crucial. It's not just about eating to satiate hunger. It's about nourishing our bodies and protecting our health. This involves being conscious not only of what we consume, but also of what we should avoid. One such concern that demands our attention is the potential relationship between certain foods and cancer. This video aims to shed light on various foods that have been linked through scientific research to an increased risk of cancer. Since the list is a bit long, we will divide this video into two parts. Today, we will discuss 10 such foods which have been considered a high risk for developing cancer. Before we start, a quick disclaimer. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe for our future updates. Now let's begin. Processed meats. The array of processed meats, such as sausage, hot dogs, pepperoni, prepackaged lunch meat, beef jerky, ham, and bacon, is speculated to increase the likelihood of colorectal cancer. The World Health Organization has issued warnings stating that daily ingestion of just a single hot dog or a few slices of bacon can raise cancer risk by 18%. Alcoholic beverages, even minimal alcohol consumption can increase the risk of cancer development. Statistics show that alcohol is associated with 5.6% of all newly diagnosed cancer cases and accounts for 4% of cancer-related deaths. Habitual or heavy alcohol consumption heightens the probability of developing cancers in the mouth, pharynx, larynx, esophagus, liver, colon, and rectum. A person's genetic makeup also influences their likelihood of developing cancer due to alcohol consumption, as genes dictate the enzymes responsible for alcohol metabolism. This genetic variant increases the risk of esophageal cancer in those who possess it. Overcooked and burnt food. Certain foods, primarily meats, when overcooked or burnt, produce chemicals known as PAHs or HCAs. These chemicals are formed from the reaction between amino acids, sugars, and creatinine under high heat. When juices from the meat drip onto an open flame or another heat source, smoke is produced that contains PAHs, which then stick to the meat's surface. HCAs are formed in meats cooked at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, or those that have been cooked for an extended duration. This increases the risk of ovarian and endometrial cancers. Dairy. Dairy products such as milk and cheese, although rich in saturated fats and cholesterol, are found to potentially reduce the risk of colorectal and other forms of cancer due to their high calcium content, as indicated by research. However, the Physician's Health Study, a 28-year-long research involving over 21,000 individuals, suggests that consuming large quantities of dairy products might heighten the risk of prostate cancer. Specifically, subjects who had more than 2.5 servings of dairy products daily exhibited an increased likelihood of developing prostate cancer. Hot Beverages Research published in the International Journal of Cancer has suggested a link between esophageal cancer and the consumption of hot beverages. The study implies that drinking beverages like hot tea at over 140 degrees could inflict thermal damage on esophageal cells, thus raising the risk particularly individuals who habitually consume hot beverages without allowing them to cool and who also partake in alcohol and cigarette use are suggested to have a five times higher likelihood of developing esophageal cancer. Red meat. Research indicates that consuming over 18 ounces of red meat weekly can elevate the risk of colorectal cancer. Certain studies also associate processed meats with an increased prevalence of colon cancer. Health professionals recommend implementing days without meat and generally reducing the quantity of red meat in the diet. It's also advised to avoid overcooking red meat as it generates chemicals that could potentially heighten the risk of colorectal cancer. Refined carbohydrates and sugars. Individuals whose diet predominantly includes refined carbohydrates like white bread, white rice, pasta, sodas, and fruit juices are at a higher risk of developing colon cancer, 
compared to those who primarily consume whole grains and complex carbohydrates found in fresh vegetables and fruits. Research indicates that elevated blood glucose and insulin levels may boost inflammation in the body, subsequently increasing cancer risk. Salt cured and pickled foods. Research conducted in the United Kingdom has observed an increased occurrence of nasopharyngeal cancer among regular consumers of salt cured fish, a common dish in China. Furthermore, the consumption of pickled foods may heighten the risk of stomach cancer. As reported in a study published in the American Association for Cancer Research Journal, out of 1 million new gastric cancer cases identified annually, over half are found in Eastern Asia. The study revealed a 50% increased risk of gastric cancer linked to pickled food consumption, with a higher incidence rate in China and Korea. Microwave popcorn. Popcorn is a snack that is high in fiber, low in fat, and generally healthy, although there are a few considerations to keep in mind. The bag used for microwave popcorn is lined with perfluorinated compounds, PFCS, to make it grease resistant and leak proof. PFCS are also found in items like Teflon pans, pizza boxes, and sandwich wrappers. These PFCs degrade into a chemical that some researchers suspect to be carcinogenic. Food dyes. The application of food dyes has been a contentious topic for several years. The Food and Drug Administration has authorized the use of nine food dyes in the United States, including red number three, red number 40, yellow number five, and yellow number six. Despite concerns raised by health researchers and food safety officials about their continued usage, manufacturers persist in incorporating them into products like candies, sports drinks, baked goods, salad dressings, and even medications. Research suggests that these dyes carry carcinogens and have been linked to cancer in lab animals. We will discuss the remaining 10 in our next video. If you are new to this channel and found this information useful, then please like and subscribe for our future updates. Together, let's claim our life back and let the healing begin.